R, ask Reddit, ask what food has made you wonder. How did our ancestors discover that this was edible? Wild almonds are poisonous. There is a mutation that blocks their cyanide production significantly. One of the earliest domesticated plants. Some genius in early civilization figured out how to either cultivate the mutants or graft them. Corn has a similar story. It was bred from a plant called teosinte. Teosinte has a hard layer that can't be bitten through and only a few kernels. Nobody is sure why the Mesoamericans bred it to be edible. Or even how. I was watching a documentary about a native Brazilian tribe that prepares caim. The process involves cooking this very starchy root. Chewing it and letting it ferment to produce an alcoholic beverage. The process of chewing is necessary as the enzymes from our saliva create the sugars necessary for fermentation. As this old woman is chewing the roots she says, I wonder how our ancestors figured this out. Ancient Peruvians did something similar with corn and made an alcoholic beverage that way. Chicha, dogfish head emulates the process and sells a chicha beer. It's pretty, URL redacted, brewery, beer, chicha, here's a video from their short-lived TV show. HTTPS. YouTube. BDU1QVXGHC8. Olives. Not for oil but for eating. You can't just pick and eat them. Somehow someone figured out if you cured them for weeks they transform into something edible. I once tried eating a raw olive. It was incredibly, spectacularly bitter. It was so bitter that it felt like it was burning my mouth. I was worried I'd poisoned myself. Closing parenthesis comma, and then I tasted bitter for a solid half hour after my tiny, tiny bite of olive. Would not recommend. You can thank the goddess Athena for that. Corn has a similar story. It was bred from a plant called teosin. Teosin has a hard layer that can't be bitten through and only a few kernels. Nobody is sure why the Mesoamericans bred it to be edible, or even how. A professor I had in university surmised that they actually had figured out how to turn teosinte into beer and so the selective breeding was to produce a more sugary plant to make better beer and over time it led to a plant that was actually edible. Edit. Fixed some atrocious grammar. Cheese. Milk. Sure. But once it goes sour, it's disgusting. Then it gets lumpy and stinks. At some point after that stage, someone thought, I'm going to eat those lumps. Dot. You're underestimating the scarcity of food and long periods of famines that our species endured till we got to a point where we could erase all trauma from our psyche by deluging ourselves with 55 different flavors of breakfast cereals. Hakarl. The flesh of the Greenland shark is toxic. But the Icelanders found a way. URL redacted. The traditional method is by gutting and beheading a Greenland or sleeper shark and placing it in a shallow hole dug in gravelly sand. With the now clean cavity resting on a small mound of sand. The shark is then covered with sand and gravel. And stones are placed on top of the sand in order to press the shark. In this way the fluids are pressed out of the body. The shark ferments in this fashion for 6 to 12 weeks depending on the season. Following this curing period, the shark is then cut into strips and hung to dry for several months. During this drying period a brown crust will develop, which is removed prior to cutting the shark into small pieces and serving. Hikarl contains a large amount of ammonia and has a strong smell, similar to many cleaning products. It is often served in cubes on toothpicks. Those new to it may gag involuntarily on the first attempt to eat it because of the high ammonia content. First timers are sometimes advised to pinch their nose while taking the first bite. As the smell is much stronger than the taste. It's essentially rotten shark jerky. That comes with a strong scent of Windex. I read a story once about how a Native American tribe tried a potential new food. The test subject was normally a young male. Say it was a new seed. They would first soak, then boil and drain several times. Then roast. Test subject would try it. If there were no adverse side effects they would repeat above but remove one of the steps. And did so until the food was tried raw. Not sure how true this was. 
But it kinda makes sense. We have a tree seed in NZ. Eaten raw it cause fits and then paralyzes the person. Needs three to four steps to make it eatable. Yet was planted in groves and eaten by the Maori. Mushrooms. There are tens of thousands of types of mushrooms. And plenty that'll kill ya. But like 20 of them are good to eat. So, trial and error. There are even some magic ones. I actually read somewhere that fewer than 10% of mushroom species are poisonous. So that tweaks your math a bit. They say it's observing stoned animals that humanity found out various psychedelic food. Reindeer for magic mushroom in northern lands. Stinging nettles. They're used to make tea and soups in at least France and Italy. That I know of, I tried soup daughters France. It tasted nicely spicy. But seriously, who thought this plant stings my skin? Makes it swell up and burn like hell, why don't I put it in my mouth? Quote question mark. Sadly, I think the answer is, a desperate starving peasant. Edit. Apparently a lot of people have a lot of feelings about nettles. My inbox is being stung. Things I have learned. 1. Nettles are your friend 2. Nettles are not your friend 3. People play a lot of run escape finally. To those with the nettle sting anecdotes, particularly the butt wiping ones, check out the history of the Gimpy URL redacted wiki dendronide underscore moroids plant in far north Queensland. That one got some colonists but good. Cacao. You have to do a whole lot to turn it into chocolate. It's true it takes a lot to make it chocolate, but they were eating it in a lot of other ways first. And originally chocolate was closer to what we consider to be dark chocolate. Only way more intense. There is this URL redacted Zen 4 h Zudo 0 about a cocoa farmer who doesn't even know what people do with it. Until someone gives him some chocolate to try. Taro root and leaves. If you don't cook it your mouth and throat will feel like they are getting cooked because calcium oxalate forms tiny razor sharp crystals in the plant. And if you eat enough you can die. People still get poisoned from eating that because it's just sitting there on supermarket shelves in the fruit and veggies section. Yay. One of few poisonous raw plants that are commonly available. Yay. The one poisonous raw plant that is commonly available. No. Yucca can give you cyanide poisoning if you cook it wrong. Edit. As several people have pointed out. I actually mean yucca, or cassava, as yucca is actually a different plant. Generally cooking it will render it safe. So just don't be weird and eat it raw or undercook it. My so likes to say, cheese is a food that's gone so bad it's good again. Dot. Sour cream is the one that does my head in. It's cream that's gone off. But in a different way than cheese made from cream, like brie, has gone off. But it can go off itself. As can brie. Is it double off? The fuck is even happening with dairy products? Like WTF. Some dude looked at them and thought that could be me. Dot. I'm bored. But they sure as hell aren't. How can I change this? Dot. Thanks for a legit laugh. Lol. Similar to how bananas were originally mostly seeds. I guess a lot of foods were pretty unpalatable before people decided to cultivate them. URL redacted edit. Obligatory thanks for silver kind stranger. Rip inboxed it too. And gold. Thanks anonymous stranger. Sam Onella. I once tried eating a raw olive. It was incredibly. Spectacularly bitter. It was so bitter that it felt like it was burning my mouth. I was worried I'd poisoned myself. Closing parenthesis comma, and then I tasted bitter for a solid half hour after my tiny, tiny bite of olive, would not recommend. Did it too, spit it out, told my GF it was delicious so she did it then gave me a shot in the arm. Boss traveled to Greece after I did so I talked up how delicious olives were straight off the tree. Got an email halfway through his trip, just with the subject line, you son of a bitch. Dot. Did the same. Yanked one off a tree near the Colosseum. When in Rome? Absolutely disgusting. I had no idea they had to go through such a process. I just thought it wasn't ripe ha ha. Your ancestors had a game called, is that edible? The premise is simple. If you find edible food, you live. Otherwise you die. The people who won that game became your ancestors. 
You come from a long line of people who played that game expertly. The people who won that game became your ancestors. Unless they had kids before they ate the bad thing. No back then people were only allowed to fuck after they ate. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to support the channel, and above all, have an excellent day you wonderful people.